Now, this is one I've been wanting you to make. I know. I know. I'm okay. looking to see what time it is. It's still morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose's Open Pantry, and today we're going to make something. I made it for us the other day, and Roy said, Honey, you got to do that on video. And I said, Okay. Next time uh, I get ready to cook it, I will. So it's called uh, like a Hawaiian ham and cabbage uh, skillet because I'm doing it all in one skillet. So, honey, if you'll come right here, I've got my uh, my skillet on, and I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in it because I'm going to uh, kind of pan fry, brown my uh, ham a little bit. Now, this is a ham. This is part of the of a ham that I baked. And we're still doing the take one piece of meat and do several things with it. Y'all saw me do like four or five different things with the turkey. Well, uh, maybe two weeks ago, I did a ham. And I showed you how I did uh, several things with the ham. And I sliced it, put it in the freezer, and this is still some of that ham. So uh, this is the reason for it is when you see ham or turkey on a real good sale grab it take it and cut it up and freeze it and bring it back like she's doing now yeah and uh so i'm just gonna kind of brown this ham a little bit and i'm going to uh stir fry some cabbage right out of the garden right oh yes right out of the garden and if y'all saw a video yesterday i think it was yesterday was it yesterday mm -hmm. i did yeah last night for supper we had or yesterday for lunch we had cabbage came out of the garden. This is another one. Roy went and got it late yesterday afternoon. Came out of the garden. So when we had the really uh hard freeze when it was like 14 degrees so, for uh, a week. You for a week. A few weeks ago it hurt them some, but uh but we're still able to get some out of the garden. So that's that's a good thing. Okay. I'm just going to kind of fry this. Now, you're at about seven on the heat, aren't you? Yes, I am seven. To do this browning? Yep. Now, in this, I'm going to put pineapple. Aloha, oi. Is okay. that what they say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> you don't sound too convinced about that, Rose. Yeah, it is. Okay. I've got pineapple with some of the juice. And mm. I'm going to let it cook in with this ham. And in this, I'm going to put, this is a brown swerve. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons. Because I want it a little sweet, but not real sweet. So a couple of tablespoons of swerve. And I'm also going to put, a, I'll just use this, a little bit of butter in it. Not much, just a little bit. Because... Butter just makes it better. All right. I'm going to let this cook. Just until that pineapple and the butter and the ham kind of... Uh, the ham's already done. So I really don't want it to, uh, to cook it too much because I don't want it to get tough. So I'm just going to let it heat through and through. Like this. Now, when I made it the other day, I really didn't make this dish. I made just the ham and pineapple, and oh my god, It was a ham steak. It was a, no. You're talking about when you cooked it mm -hmm, for when us? I, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did the ham steak with the pineapple, but then the next day or the day after, I had some uh, ham left. So I did it like this with the pineapple, and oh, it was so good. I didn't put cabbage in it, but Roy said, oh, honey, you got to put the cabbage in it. And let's see how it's going to taste. So, and I might try ginger, but we don't have any ginger. No, I don't have fresh ginger. So she she likes to try one thing I suggest at a time without <laughs> throwing a bunch of stuff in a pan. Okay. I'm going to let this cook. Oh, it's so good, bit. though. Let me tell you, you'll like this. All right, and so this, uh, now this is heated through and through. So this juice will get all up in the cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and put my cabbage in. Now, all you wanted to do with that ham and pineapple was just get it 
uh, get it heated through and through because it's going to cook more when you're cooking your cabbage. Okay. Now this is going to cook down. I know it looks like a lot and it is a lot, but Chandler and Promise are here today. So I'm going to salt it. That's about a teaspoon of salt. This has no sugar in it. No. It has no mm -hmm. ham, no, no added sugar. No added sugar no, except the pineapple. No, not even uh, honey. This no. This is just, mm -mm. just the pineapple. Mm -mm. Just the fruit, and it's no sugar added to the pineapple. So right. So it's just natural fruit. Yeah. Okay. Now, it already looks good. Wow. And I may add a little bit more pineapple. It's according to how, when I get the cabbage, uh, when I cook them some, I'm going to, uh, when it shrinks a little bit and gets a little bit doneer. Now, I don't want this cabbage mushy. I want it still to have a little uh, a little crunch. Not crunch, but just like al dente. A texture. A texture to it, yeah. All right. I'm going to put a lid on this. Now, this this is low-carb low, so yeah, for us, yeah, this is. is right in the middle of our yes. food culture. Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to put a lid on it. I'm going to let it cook till my cabbage gets almost done. I'm going to taste of it, see if I add if I need to add anything else to it. And we'll be back with y'all. Or two babies. Okay. All right. Y'all. Hawaiian pan cabbage? Yes. It cooked like 15 minutes just until your cabbage gets really, uh, kind of like al dente not really mushy Ooh. but now if you like your cabbage cook really really a lot and then some people do yeah just oh good gracious all right I promise come take this all right break this in there because i was getting nowhere doing it like i was doing it <laughs> yeah i'll get that pineapple in just a second kids are gonna taste of it for me Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That's good enough, baby. We'll get the rest out in a little bit. Okay. Ooh. All right. These mats are clean. So, y'all, I've already tasted. This is delicious. You need to try this. And if you like a little... Mm. Uh, Look different flavor, a little Chinese flavor, and oh, it's wow. good with that too. You put a little ginger, ginger? in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Chandler, give me. I just yeah. I just need your plate. All right. Oh. Y'all look at this. Mm. Mm. I'm tired of one, looking at it, Rose. A one. <laughs> one I'm ready to eat it. One skillet meal. Okay. Chandler, come over here. Oh, it's changing around. I'm getting your lunch. Up. It's okay. It's all right. We just get you from a different view. All right. All right. Y'all let me know what you think. All right, I got a piece of egg. Yeah, get a piece of pineapple, piece of ham, some cabbage. It's hot, isn't it, baby? I can get cabbage. You can. Yeah. It's hot, Chandler. Hot. Hot promise, ain't it? You have to keep it between your teeth, don't Another you? Another good dish. Okay. Y'all can thank Granddaddy for this one. He came up with this no. one. So. <laughs> thank me. I came up with this <laughs> All right. And I've got them some mac and cheese back here that they're going to eat with theirs. And Granddaddy and I will probably just eat this. But, uh, yep. And we got, well, I got a little quinoa in the, uh, in the fridge. So we'll probably eat a little quinoa with ours. Okay. All right. This is another... Easy, quick meal, pineapple, ham, cabbage. Low carb load Low for carb the whole load. family. Yes. A little, no, I have, I'm not through yet. Okay, y'all subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. And comment so I know where you're from. <laughs> okay, promise. Food feeds the family. Family feeds the heart. God feeds the soul. Love y'all. See you next time.